Okay, so here we are again with um, another share. Um, it looks like two journals. It's actually one um, package that comes together, and I'll explain why in a minute. Um, it's a hardback um, journal and um, a journal cover with packaged with ephemera. So I'm going to put that to one side for a minute and show you the journal. Um, it's hardback with four signatures. And I think this one has 160 sides, if you count the fronts and backs. Um, it measures, uh, I think this one measures five, just over five by seven and a half. Um, and there's a two inch spine. So obviously you can see how I've decorated the front. This is French, original French linen fabric, vintage fabric. Um, and it is a little bit grungy. There's a bit of staining here and there. I've used um, sari silk for the ties. And again, I've deliberately chosen some of the slightly grungier um, one that I've got. It's got a few stains um, or dye marks in it. Um, this is a bit of vintage lace here. This is cog image. And on the back, I've made... Um, so I've made um, a boho bead, if you can see that, that matches the fabric. And I've followed a tutorial um, by Shabby Tabby somebody. Um, oh, what's her name? Again, I'll put the link underneath. Um, and I've done something similar uh, to make this tassel. So it's, it's in a big bead cap. Um, there's a little charm that I've made which worked perfectly this side. The other side, the um, printing blurred when I put the glossy accents on, but it I didn't mind it, it still tones in, so let's see what you think. And this obviously comes off. So this journal is not decorated inside. It's quite eclectic. Um, I've used pink mainly pinks and blues so we've got some sewing paper tea dyed paper um, some vintage atlas the this side of the atlas is upside down because of the way the book pages worked there's some dyed inked papers uh, a bit of french book page we've got edith holden um, centers first signature this one's much the same that's the dyed paper and again you've got an upside down map and a right way up map <laughs> so this one has um, that's Australia that's the dyed paper that's the centre. So they follow the, the signatures follow the same um, pattern throughout and left for you to decorate. So again, this is going into the Etsy shop. Um, lots of room there for you to do what you want with it. But I am including um, this ephemera pack. I really like making the books. And sometimes I like decorating the books, but decorating the pages isn't always quite what I want to do. Um, I really, really love putting the books together and doing the covers. So I saw this on um, Debbie Ann's channel, Ephemera's Vintage Garden, and I've basically copied her idea. So I'm really hoping she doesn't mind. Um, I will contact her before this goes into the shop. Um, so what I've done is make a journal cover and I've just tied it with some chiffon ribbon. I've made um, a possible front image for you, which you could use on this cover. Um, you would just need to use some Fabri-Tac on the back there and, and glue it on. That would be fine. Or obviously you can do what you like with it. This journal cover... And this is exactly how Debbie did hers. Um, well, almost exactly. So it's lined with fabric. It's actually one of my um, single signature. It's how I do the single signature journals that I make. 
um, but obviously without journal pages in it, clearly. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm rambling now. Um, I've made lace pockets like Debbie did. So you could use this, you could make a signature, sew it in and you would have a journal. And what I've included in this is a whole array of bits and bobs. I will try and go through it quickly. So there's some um, of these uh, inventory tags. These are not genuine, they're copies. There's some book pages, vintage book pages. There's a floating pocket with some um, paper tags in there, a library card, a vintage playing card, and the Tim Holtz um, people. So that's that. I've made some of these um, little bags out of scrapbook paper. There's um, a, a glassine bag with a Tim Holtz um, playing card in it and a photo strip and an envelope I've made with Mrs. Cog image. And the envelopes I've left open um, so you can glue those, sew those, whatever you want. And then in the front pocket I've got a tea bag with some die cuts, uh, fussy cuts really, not die cuts. I've got a small glassine bag with some stamps. Um, Bow tea card, etc. Another fussy cut there, and this um, little pocket is glued on. And obviously, you can see what's in there some more people, some tickets, um, that sort of thing. And then this side, I've got um, a paper bag with some bits and bobs in it, some, some original ephemera, um, book pages, old book pages. And I've also got some handmade printed ephemera. So this is an original um, receipt, but I've printed it, scanned and printed it onto some lightweight paper. And there's a couple of um, ledger pages there as well. So that's in the paper bag. And then I've got another book page, a stamp, some doilies and another envelope. And then down here we've got um, a small coin envelope um, with a little bit of vintage ephemera in there. I've included one of these Tim Holtz um, pockets, another card, a handmade um, flower that I fussy cut and there's a small bundle of tea cards there and a charm. So that's the pack. That will all go into the Etsy shop as one item. Um, thank you very much for watching. I think this video is a bit long, a bit longer than I would normally do, but um, hopefully you've got to the end. Thank you.